Good morning. Good morning and welcome to Real Talk with Devin Will. It Good is morning. It's Monday again and we made it. Yes, made it. Uh, so uh, I, I trust your weekend was restful and restorative and relaxing. And um, if you wanted to get stuff done, hopefully you got stuff done. I don't think that that, that should be the purpose of weekend to get stuff done. No, the weekend is for fun and relaxation, party. And well, and you know, <laughs> but anyway, sleeping in late, sleeping in late. So um, <clears throat> hopefully, you got y'all got to do some of that. Uh, we have a, this is our twelfth video, I think twelfth or thirteenth video. Uh, and thank you for all of those who have, who have gone to our YouTube channel and checked that out. Those of you who have slipped off to um, uh, to iHeartRadio, iHeart.com, and and caught the podcast, and we pre- we appreciate that too. Uh, we just need more subscribers on our YouTube channel, and we'll, and we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, so th- the interesting title that Debbie came, in, came up with this morning is called Committed or Commenting. So that should be interesting. I think that that, I mean, and that really affects more people and more different kinds of relationships than, um, than, than the title would give you um, uh, cause to think. But um, it's an important differentiation in the quality of your relationship? Um, I looked up the word committed, and um, that is that is really something that you need to think about before committing yourself to a marriage. Um, you also have to be committed in any relationship that you have. You know, if you're in a, a friendship, are you uh, in a relationship with a, a business partner? Um, Various relationships require that you be committed. Um, And that's why I think a lot of people just date or they just live together or they just um, have a companion for many years because they don't want to be committed. People want to be be able to say, well, I'm tired of this. I'm out of here. You know, yeah, you know, and, and 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 the idea is that you have got to in any relationship, and like Debbie was saying, in in, in, any, in any kind of relationship, be able to hang on a second. That ought to fix that. Hopefully, that won't blow the whole thing up. Um, there you go. That'll be okay in a minute. <clears throat> we went from Wi-Fi to um, being plugged in. Being plugged in is always better. Still. Um, but um, in any kind of relationship, unless you're really willing to commit, um, it's not going to be successful. Business relationships, especially, um, you can't just sort of dabble with a partner and, to, and, and kind of feel that, well, we're just sort of going to try this out for a while. No, the only way for things to really work. Uh, <laughs> only, only way for things to really Good work <laughs> is to commit. <laughs> Like I commit to Florida State, uh, but to commit um, is to get in there and really say, you know what, we're going to do our best to work together. We're going to be our, do our best to be successful, um, as opposed to, well, if it doesn't work out, we can just yeah lean this out, you know, we just dissolve it. It'll be okay. Uh, we you you can't first of all, Don Roan, Don Roan's in the house. Welcome, Don Roan. Good morning, sir. But um, you just morning, can't, Sammy. I don't think you can do that in anything really. And expect no. to be and expect to be successful. You can't. And that's the thing. I think people don't people expect to be successful. I, I say this to you all the time. How did they think that was going to work out? <laughs> yes. I think that a lot. You know what? They they get into these relationships, or and, and it's ratchet and crazy and and nonsensical. And I think, how did you think that was going to work out? out? Well, you were going to have six children with this guy, not marry him, know that he's doing the same thing. In the next apartment building, <laughs> not even across town, with somebody else, and you thought that that was going to be somehow work itself out and be okay, and you were going to live happily ever after. And it was going to work out. No, no commitment. <laughs> Seems no stupid. Success. <laughs> That's the deal. If you don't have no commitment, no success. That sounds like a T-shirt. Mm-hmm. We'll be taggered. And. Um... <laughs> Rhonda brought it up. Yeah, she, she brought did. it up. She brought it up. <laughs> um, 
commitment, what does commitment mean? To be willing uh, whatever it takes to make the marriage work. And that means not always getting your way. Yes. Um, you don't get your way all the time. And, <laughs> and, and we both that, have issues with that, that because true. I was raised like an only child. And I'm an authentic, I was the youngest, I'm an authentic, authentic, authentic only, only child. child. If they wanted me. So Makes we, a lot of people happy because they wanted me. <laughs> I have brothers and sisters, but they were basically all gone by the time I was in, in the home uh, being raised. So I was like an only child. I got whatever I wanted. All I had to do was go to daddy and, mm, okay, yeah, you can have it. But, you know, he with restrictions and stuff like that. But usually I got whatever I wanted. Yeah, when you're when you're an only child and you're an only child and you're not even in a um, uh, you know a, 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 you know a position where you got a lot of money in your family, there's only you know <laughs> when there's only one kid to spend it on, you're like rich, <laughs> and you might as well be rich, you know <laughs> when there's only one kid and you don't have to share it. Mm -hmm. There are no hand me downs. Nowhere to, you know? There's nowhere to get them from. You just hand it was hand me's. Hand me's. <laughs> no doubt, it's hand me. So the, the whole gist of the thing is that you have to be, when you're committed to something, you have to be willing to not have your way all the time. Yes, and that's because that's the part that's important because you under, cause you have to actually have to understand something that's really sort of antithetical to your upbringing is that not having your way all the time is probably better than having your way all the time. It's probably more beneficial to you. And that's the part that is it, it, hard for people to wrap their brains around. Um, what, what do you mean? If I don't get my way, things are going to be better for me? Quite possibly. And, and in most circumstances, especially in personal relationships, yes. And that's what we have to, that, that's what we have to make, that's how you have to make that shift. And it takes a certain amount of, of maturity to make that shift that, you know what, just because this time when you didn't, didn't get your way, it was actually better for you. So maybe next time in a situation where you thought you should have your way, you should consider what happened the last time. Mm -hmm. You didn't get your way. And somebody, somebody else's way, your partner, your friend, or your business partner or whatever, their way was actually better and better for you. And it worked out good for you. So, you know... <laughs> That's a, that's an important piece to start understanding um, as your relation as you mature and as your relationship matures, and that deals within um, real really serious things in a marriage, as well as the small little things. Or you know, when kids start to come along, are you willing to be able to get up at two a.m. in the morning and feed the kid? That's yes. a commitment. I did. <laughs> yes. And, you know, sometimes the, the wife is like doing the, all the thing, the feeding, the, the changing diapers and all this stuff like that. But when you get committed to having children, it requires both of you to, to take care of that child, uh, especially if the wife is working. Now, even if she's at home all day doing everything, so, you know, the, the guy needs to step up every now and then and, and do his part also. You know, it's it's funny, and, and, and we talk about this story all the time. Um, I think one of the first times we took our son Alex um, to meet his grandparents, her parents, mm -hmm. and I was changing. I the baby was was poopy or whatever, and I changed the diaper. Your dad looked at me like I had lost my mind. Yes. <laughs> like what are <laughs> what are you doing? What is wrong <laughs> with you? You change diapers? Well, the the baby is poopy and nasty. Yes, yes. Um, and I think that, and, 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 and in flipping back to what I was saying before, that may not be something that you thought was going to be good for you, but I think I, I, you know, I, I personally believe that the relationship with my son I have now, um, is as good as it is because I spent all that baby time with him. I spent a lot of baby time with him. You know what? And a lot of times men don't do that. They don't, I mean, until they can throw a ball or catch a ball and run in the yard, they don't really spend much time with the baby. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that that's a huge mistake. That's a bonding. You know, you bond with your child. Mistake. You know, you may not 
the child may not know what's going on, but they know who you are and they feel the love that you have for them because a child is totally dependent. A baby is totally dependent on you as a parent to take care of them physically, financially, everything. They, they can't eat without you. Yeah. So I, you know, I think the guy, I think guys miss a miss an awful lot without, you know, when they don't participate, uh, with their sons and daughters as babies. Um, Alex and I used to go out on Saturday when I wasn't working on Saturday and just, I would load them up in the car with all the baby stuff, with all the diapers and all the, the food, all the paraphernalia, because there's a lot. <laughs> Holy crap, there's a lot. Uh, and we would just go riding. We would just go to the park and hang out. And we didn't go to the park again. We could throw a football around or a baseball around. We would swim. And, and when he was a baby, when he was a little, Holding arms, baby, uh, and, I, and I think it's one of those things where people don't maybe don't want to compromise on because they don't really feel. It. Yeah, it's one of those things that you thought that wasn't going to be okay f for you, which was actually the best thing for you, as it turned out. So take my advice: don't go the hard way. Now, forget the benefit that it gave Debbie because it gave her just. A couple, a couple hours of hours off, mm -hmm. you know, it, it wasn't like I was curing cancer. <laughs> I was taking my son and I was riding my son around in a car for a couple hours and have lunch. You know, we were just chilling out. Uh, it wasn't like this was really hard. Like I was like, I didn't have the child. OK, it wasn't like that. Uh, so I, I, I'm not putting myself up on that pedestal. So I didn't actually give birth to the boy, but um, it was easy enough getting in the car with all the stuff and going to the park and having lunch and chilling out a little bit. Um, but it ended up being good for me too. It ended up being good for our family. So this is one. Of, this is just one example of how you think that you're not going to. I'm not going to do that. Well, yeah, you should though. Mm -hmm. It actually turned out better for us. One little small thing I thought about last night that we uh, within our marriage that uh, we had to give and take is having a television in our bedroom. <sighs> There's a television in our bedroom. <laughs> But there wasn't for years. There, there, many years, my husband uh, felt like the bedroom was a sacred place, and we should not have a television There's in there. There's a television in our bedroom, <laughs> and 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 I was willing to 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 go along with that. Big TV in our bedroom. There isn't a big one. It's a little <laughs> small TV. <laughs> but uh, I, I was <laughs> willing willing to go along with that, and and. Actually, I must say that it during that time that you know we we did draw closer, you know, and and I'm not saying having a television in your bedroom is going to ruin your marriage. Um, no. It won't. No, but there's but, a TV in my bedroom. <laughs> but um, I for years I gave into that, and I and I let that go, and it did help us grow. We had more communication and stuff. We have one now, but that's only been for what about four days now, five days or so. And bedroom for two things. Yes. Sleeping and reading the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was gonna say something. Oh, I, got, I got all y'all, didn't I? I got all y'all. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we have a we have a TV in our bed, and and I in with stipulations, and I have a, a made it, and he didn't ask me to do this. I just voluntarily made a decision that if I'm going to do this, if I'm going to have one in there, it's not going to be on all the time. Every time you step in the bedroom, you have the TV on because I. In our beginning of our marriage, we I did do that. I was a TV hog. I really like watching TV. So I would have it on all the time. You know, when we were in there, in the bed, you know, we'd fall asleep with the TV on and all wake, of that. But Wake up to TV. TV. But no um, I have... I have disciplined myself and and made it that, you know, the television can be in there, but I have it on for when I'm getting ready for work in the morning, <laughs> listen to the news. Don Rowan says it's also for homework. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you just have to have, you know, give and take a little. 
you know, you can't have your way all the time when you're committed to someone in a, um, a relationship. No, you can't. And you probably, and, and, and like I said before, you shouldn't, you shouldn't because what you what you miss out on is the, the, the benefit, the savoriness, the deliciousness of the combined relationship. It's like when you take two ingredients or, in, or ingredients in a recipe that in individually, yeah, not so great. But when you mix them, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. Um, Reese's peanut butter cups. Chocolate's yes. okay. Peanut butter's okay. But Reese's? Oh, my God. Put them together. And oh, my especially God. Especially those Easter eggs. Things. You like those? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, so so sometimes you got to get that benefit, and you in order to get the benefit of that, you have to give you. And it goes back to what I said, video one. You have to give something up sometime. Armando, what's up? Armando uh, Armando Ro, Rojas. We shouldn't say it that way because that's awful when you say a Spanish name and suddenly you get this Spanish affectation. Like suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but good morning. And Lorraine, good morning, um, Tammy, and Tammy's out there. Thank Richard. you so much for, for, for dropping by. But um, but you know what, giving giving some and give and actually giving up some of yourself is probably a, the best thing yes. as you move forward. You think you know you want to have a temper tantrum when you're not getting your way, and that where that is where the commenting comes in. Be careful that you're not commenting on your spouse in a negative manner and saying things that you will regret. Uh, in the future, or right now, you might regret. You know, I shouldn't have said that. That wasn't nice. Um, the the comments that you make about your spouse to your spouse, it it hurts and it's damaging. And sometimes people can't get over it. Yeah, you got to be really careful about what comes out of your face, um, especially the people who um, who are depending on you to have their back all the time. Um, mm -hmm. And when you say stuff out of anger or out of upset or out of frustration, sometimes um, it may not be how you feel. Ultimately, it just it might be how you feel right now. It may be. You know, what? I'm, I'm going to give people the benefit of the doubt. It may not be how you feel. Ultimately, it may be just be how you feel right now. Or you may be in a position where you you're, you are tr you are trying to you don't really feel this way, but you are trying to hurt the person that you're talking. Um, neither, none of that is good. None of that is good because this is a person, especially if they're your spouse, that you promised God that you would that you would do all those things that you would honor and that you would support and you would take care of all the time. And now you're slapping them around with your words, trying to hurt them on purpose. Yes. What? A lot of times they are the mother of your children. A lot of times they're the father of your I children. Did, you know? And you don't want to bring on a negative aspect um, in front of your children. Especially. Especially, you know. So be, be decide on what you're going to, to be willing to give up. And um, I was reading over about how ministers counsel people that are getting married you have to decide from the beginning whether you're what are you going to be willing to to forgive and forget about and um the one of the main things is like infidelity that's a serious portion of a marriage um are you willing to 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 and you know a lot of times people say well if he if he cheats on me i'm done i'm out of here you know and and that may be so. I understand that. I can understand that. However, it depends on how he cheated. Uh, what's the worst part of cheating? That's another sub. That's a whole nother the subject. That <laughs> the video that uh, we're gonna do I mean, about eighteen part series infidelity, <laughs> because um, sometimes you can forgive them. You know, depending on what the fidelity, it you know infidelity was that they did. Was it a one night stand? Was it a you know a a couple of years relationship they had with someone? Was like, it just like when we saw in Blue Bloods the other night, where dude had a family across in across New York across town. a park, yeah. <laughs> across Central Park, 
Oh, I mean, was actually I, I had a 20 year marriage and a kid and was getting engaged to some other chick across the park. Uh, yeah. Two total lies. Do you forgive that? Well, he got killed. <laughs> that's how they found out. But <laughs> that's how it all came. He, he was dead. But um, a lot of people, a, a lot of uh, relationships and marriages survive infidelity. Um, it isn't the it isn't the death knell that for some people it is you know what you know they think it is um, it's, and it ha- I think it has to do with not only how the infidelity took place but the condition of the relationship either before it took place or as it as was, taking, it was place. taking place. So it's one of those things, and I hate saying this: every situation is different because every situation is a little different. Um, so there isn't um, there you know what in in, in in infidelity space there isn't necessarily a way to say that's it um, all the time because we because people wonder I don't even know how, how she stayed with him after that. Mm-hmm. Well, she got her reasons, You're and she not in their and she know more about it than you do. So yes. uh, hush, leave the people alone. Yes, you don't know what's going on in a marriage. There are so many levels and so many things that are going on in a marriage and. If somebody forgives somebody for doing something like that, don't judge them. Ain't none of your, ain't none of your business. Ain't Be happy business. for them that their marriage that they worked it out is is able to survive. Yeah, yeah. So that's a you know what? But again, that's another eighteen part series. Yeah, on, that's a whole on, nother on infidelity because that's topic. I mean, it's hard. You know what? I, <laughs> I I can't imagine it's hard because again, it breaks it breaks the ultimate commitment. One of those things that you that maybe you weren't thinking about because you were all this excited about the moment. Um, but some of the stuff that you said, some of the stuff that you said that you wouldn't do. <laughs> and then you went right ahead and did it. Um, but people are flawed. Yes. We're human. We're not perfect. We're not perfect. And things happen over a lifetime. People change over a lifetime. And you that's why it's so important to keep and intimacy between the two of you where you are open and honest and talking and and because intimacy isn't just the sexual part of it and again we need to have a midnight session where we can talk um exclusively about uh about the intimacy of a marriage sexual part of it um because that's something that you need to discuss and talk about how often will you be having sex how you know how you want to have sex and where and you know because sometimes you got to give and take um in that sometimes you you know the wife wants to have sex two or three times a week the guy wants to have sex seven times a week (laughs) you know every day and um (laughs) and as you get older that changes (laughs) Uh, as you get older, that changes. As as you switches, um, but um, you're right. There's all sorts of things that you have to be okay with talking about. You got to be okay with talking about. And 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 a lot of these. And I'm gonna use this word because I thought about it because <laughs> I think it's funny. A lot of these topics are prickly, so to speak. Um, sometimes and but yeah, but you have to you have to be intimate enough in your relationship to talk about it honestly. You know, uh, and because. Everybody, everybody's ego is involved. Everybody's feelings involved. Um, so you have to. So, so the subject, those subjects become prickly. Um, but you've got to be willing to talk. But you got to be close enough to talk about them. You've Got to be, you know, what in a situation where you know we've we have come we have come this far, and that we shouldn't be afraid to broach these kind of subjects that are important anyway. So. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 they are going to help your marriage yeah, grow we gotta, and mature. We got to have a um, a Facebook, uh, excuse me, a YouTube live, um, I age restricted YouTube live. We can yes. do we can do that. Um, so if you guys want the age restricted YouTube live, just say so. Just say so in the comments there. Um, Midnight with Will and Debbie. <laughs> No, we won't be calling it that. That's just weird. That's just that's just strange. No, I, no, I don't think we'll be calling it that. No. Bedroom conversation. No, we won't be calling that either. We won't be calling that either. No, no, no. We'll be the that. tricks of empty. No, we'll be calling it that either. No, 
No. Oh, come on. No, we'll, we'll be calling it the, um, uh, what, the um, quiet storm. <laughs> no. no, nothing cheesy. Nothing cheesy. But hopefully helpful. So if you guys want to, you guys want that, I think we should. Just let us know, and uh, we'll be glad to stay up late. Because it's a commitment. Yes. <laughs> stay up late. <laughs> we have to nine, take some naps. Maybe at 9.30, we'll be like, oh, I think I'm turning in. It's 9.30. But it's still light I'm out. Go to bed, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, again, back to our topic. So uh, being committed to your relationship and being willing to give and take and do, you know, do some things outside of the box that you are used to with your spouse, because you, um, like, like Willie said, <laughs> like this, I guess yes. like we're doing right, right here every Monday. Yes. This was something, you know, my husband has done radio and all kinds of different things, uh, for the past what like 10 years since, since 2008 i started um my uh, my podcast 2008 mm -hmm. and he loves it he loves talking and he loves getting on here and you know people are doing the election times and stuff like that he was a political junkie but uh and you can go back and look at some of his things that he what, does and stuff whatever but um I, I like i said in our first show i'm not that type of person i I'm pretty private and quiet and, um, well, not anymore, but, uh, <laughs> and, and, and didn't really get on here and different things like that. And I felt like this year, you know, it was time for a change. And, um, so I, I talked to him, I said, I want to do a show with you. You know, we should do a, a relationship show. And he just kind of looked at me. You know, like, hmm. And and then last night when I, uh, many of you may have seen the post that I made, uh, you know, about this morning. And he uh, he came into the bedroom. I made a little kind of. Commercial. Commercial. And I'm in the bedroom, though. I reorganized and, and moved some things around. And he built I've, a studio uh, in there. It's crazy. <laughs> Made me a desk up and everything, and I have my monitor and everything, and I have cameras and different things up in there to it. prepare for this. And my bedroom has a TV and the studio now. <laughs> but I keep it, in, you know, in in certain times. It's only in certain times now. But um, he said he's created a monster. <laughs> what have I created? But I'm really getting into this. I like sharing with people now i'm a different person than what i was 10 years ago and i i really feel like god has put upon me to to be more open and to share and to to write and and to to do things that are going to help people more i of course i worked in my community and i uh I've been a manager. I've done, you know, mentored people and done all kinds of things. But this is another adventure for me, and and, and I'm happy to to have him along <laughs> to teach me and help me, and we can learn from each other. So that's another level of commitment for me, and it's 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 frightening, but it's gonna be fun. It's fun. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Yeah, it it is. <laughs> but it's but it's good work. It really is. It's good work, and um, I couldn't have a better partner. Um, and I've had numerous partners in my um in my time doing um online radio, online um, video. Um, but I've never had a better partner than I have now. Even if I'm doing all most of the technical work, but that's okay. Um. <clears throat> I don't think I've done as an important as an important thing um, in all the time, and I've I've done I get over two thousand um, blog um, podcast on Blog Talk Radio, um, around a thousand on Spreaker. So I talk a lot. Uh, I don't think I've done anything as important as we're doing right now um, that I think that will benefit as many people as we're doing right now. So that's really really exciting. Uh, yeah, it's 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 and, and the YouTube thing is and is a bunch of work. It really is, but that's okay. That's all right. 
That's all right. Because I'm committed. I ain't just common. I'm committed. Um, Debbie's committed. She's not just commenting. So this is yes. this is good times. Um, and you know what? You don't have to. And, and you don't have to wait thirty years. Not, not that we waited thirty years, but I think that we are now in a position um, in our relationship and in ourselves. <clears throat> um, but don't think that it's too late. Don't think that you've been married so long. Well, you know, we we're kind of in a groove. Well, if your groove is the same thing all the time, it's not a groove. It's a rut. Um, that you can make changes, that you can do different things, that you can express. A lot of people, uh, um, some people who, who are watching, who, are, who have popped into this broadcast, um, have stuff to share. Have stuff to share. Not because you're the, you think you're the smartest person in the room, but sometimes when you live through stuff, you have a, a perspective that maybe somebody else doesn't have. Yes. Um, and it would do a lot of good for them if you would just share it. And they may be going through that, what you've lived. And if the if you can help them along the way, I think that's what God requires. It's a good thing. It's we good go thing. through things for a reason. <laughs> and it may not even be for you. The reason you're going through it is for the next person down the line. So you can share so you can share how how you navigated it even or that e or sometimes that it even happened because a lot of times when people are in pain or struggling, they think that they're the only one who's ever who's it's ever yes. been like this. And just knowing sometimes that it's not the only per they're the only person um is is not only comforting, but okay, so it's not it's just a me. relief. It's a relief. Okay, it's not just me. No. Mm -hmm. Most things are not just you. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I would say everything is not just you. Uh, <clears throat> that somebody has walked up that path or a similar path before. So if you've done that and you feel like that maybe you should share, I think that people should. It should take. I mean, it's 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 pretty easy to share. I mean, this is we're using um, the laptop that, that Debbie bought me uh, after I had my really bad cold that I talked about. <laughs> And then this microphone, which is not a new microphone. I've had this for a while. This is my favorite microphone, as a matter of fact. Um, <clears throat> I bought in a pawn shop. <laughs> so, you know, it doesn't take a bunch of time. And this light, I, I don't even want to talk about this light. Uh, this is the most ratchet light thing you've ever, you have ever We're seen. We're working on improving our products. Yeah, because so. that light is ratchet it's just <laughs> terrible but you know it it works it comes on you click you click, you click the button and it goes white comes out so uh but if you've got you know something to share you should uh and if it's just it, you, it just may be commenting on a post that somebody is suffering or struggling and uh, you you might just get with them and say you know what i've walked the, i've walked in that path and here's how it worked out or if that it worked out you're gonna be okay because sometimes people just need to know that, that it's gonna be okay Yes, it's gonna that be okay. you 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 too can make it through this. Yeah, I know that helped me a lot when you were going through when had my was face. This issue. Uh, to a lot of people that had been through surgery such as this, couples and stuff like that, I had no idea that they had lived it. Mm -hmm. And to hear their story and to know that they were on the other side helped a lot. Yeah, my friend Ted Webb will call me and and and, to, and told me the truth about his surgery um, <laughs> and my recovery. But uh, yeah, it was nice to know that he was year that he was years removed. That was encouraging for me uh, when I was in the hospital. I was like, oh, but but he was years removed from it, and he said, you, you you you're going to be okay. Uh, so yeah, sometimes it's it, it's just good to know. Um, again, uh, we'll be back uh, next Monday. Yes. Same bad time. Same bad place. Same bad channel. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. We should try to do this in a different area sometime. So, what, what like Cleveland, Evansville, Indiana? <laughs> Got lots of jobs. Different up there. place in Tampa. Oh, you mean like outside? Yes, outside these Go, walls. Like getting in the car and going somewhere. Yes. <laughs> Maybe have breakfast somewhere and do it from there or something like that. We could that. do that. Mm -hmm. We could do Just that. Just some ideas. Maybe there's a village inn down there in um, um, in Riverview that we could go to. Maybe um, <laughs> one of our friends will show up. 
<laughs> Maybe. All right, listen, we got to get out of here. Maybe we're for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody. For goodness sake, y'all take care of yourself. And be committed and not commenting. Commit. Peace. We're Peace. Out. Love you.